Man United glory days could soon return after Eric Ten Hag masterstroke. Manchester United have flattered to deceive on the pitch since legendary manager Sir Alex Ferguson called time on his illustrious career in the dugout in 2013. Since that fateful day, the Red Devils have failed to launch a realistic Premier League title bid and have endured a series of struggles year after year. But that could now be about to change after Eric Ten Hag copied a Mikkel Art at a masterstroke. The Red Devils appointed Ten Hag earlier this year as he was left to pick up the pieces from a disastrous season under O Gunnar Solskjaer and his interim successor Ralph Rangnick. Ten Hag lost his first two Premier League matches against Brighton and Brentford but has since helped his team turn their season around and climb to fifth. After Ten Hag arrived at Old Trafford, there was plenty of attention on him over how he would react to Cristiano Ronaldo. At the age of 37, the Portugal striker had become a waning force and reportedly tried to secure a move away from Old Trafford after missing the team's summer tour. Ten Hag gave Ronaldo his chance by starting him in United's second match against the Bees, despite the fact the player was lacking match fitness. But the Dutchman clearly became frustrated by the blockbuster star and handed him just three more top-flight stars ahead of the break for the World Cup. Ronaldo grew increasingly unhappy as summer turned to winter and vented his anger by telling Piers Morgan that he had no respect for Ten Hag during an explosive interview. The manager had already shown Ronaldo who was boss by leaving him out of the team for crucial matches and the 52-year-old would never have allowed the player to return to the club after his comments to Morgan. In fact, just days after the interview went live, United and Ronaldo parted ways. The situation was similar to the one Arteta faced with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang at Arsenal last season. The Gabon striker had fallen foul of the Spaniard due to a disciplinary breach and was stripped of the captaincy and vanished from the team. And the player ultimately had his contract cancelled so he could leave the club and move to Barcelona. Arteta's masterstroke clearly sent a message to Arsenal players about the standards he was looking for at the club, and it has had quite the impact in North London as the Gunners have stormed to the top of the Premier League table this season after winning 12 of their 14 matches before the break for the World Cup. Ten Hag's dealings with Ronaldo could be the masterstroke United were looking for and when the team returned to Premier League action against Nottingham Forest on Tuesday, the Dutchman could have a group of players who know where the line is and are ready to fight for each other, and that will stand the club in good stead for the second half of the season and beyond. The Red Devils need to fight for trophies this season and secure a top-four finish, and if they can taste some sort of success come May, they could put themselves in the frame to challenge for the Premier League and Champions League titles next season. A major trophy would completely transform the club's fortunes, and that level of success would indicate that United's glory days might not necessarily be behind them. In other news, Paul Pogba believes legendary Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson would succeed in the modern age, but only if he had a similar group of players players and staff to those he had during his time at Old Trafford. Pogba infamously fell out with Ferguson during his first spell at United leading to the French midfielder leaving the club for free at the end of his contract to join Juventus in 2012. He was frustrated by a lack of playing time with the Red Devils, while there was also a bitter contract standoff between his agent, Mino Raiola, and Ferguson. Following Pogba's departure, the United boss then accused him of disrespecting the club, adding further fuel to the fire in the bad blood between the pair. After a successful four years with the Italian giants, Pogba returned turned to Old Trafford for a then world record 89 pounds and 30 cents M fee before he left again in the summer to rejoin the old lady. And reflecting on his former boss, Pogba outlined the sort of manager Ferguson was like to play under. He wasn't doing, it wasn't the coach like you see now with Pep Guardiola that is more talking. He told Field of Stories. No, he wasn't like that. I think he had the staff and the players so he didn't need to do that. When pressed on whether his former adversary, who won 38 trophies during his legendary 27-year spell at the helm, would succeed in the modern game. Pogba added, if he has the staff and people and players, yes. If you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.